All right, what's going on, guys? Good morning. Doing a little uh, painting this week. Got the painting cap back on. So uh, yeah, what we're doing now is finishing up this car here. So we uh, got our chassis all ready. We got a few components to paint for that still in the black department. But uh, next couple days we're gonna concentrate on getting this uh, painted. And next week I guess we'll be doing some buffing. Uh, I think the doors are pretty much complete. Uh, I do have to repaint the cow panel, that quarter panel over there, and the roof. Try to break it off probably, uh, well I'll just re-clear that whole quarter, clear the roof, and uh, break it off with the drip rail. I uh, got this all blocked down. This was our uh, spot that we uh, got a little crack in from prying up on the door, trying to get the door to fit, and uh, got that all fixed. We're gonna sand this a little more in the, in the seam here and put a little uh, self-leveling seam sealer in there. And uh, this thing should be ready to go into the uh, booth tomorrow, is the, uh, the gold. So today I'm painting a couple little pieces parts uh, again more stuff that uh, was getting painted that wouldn't have got painted if we went and changed the color and all that good stuff but we got two hinges uh, ashtray door and uh, the two uh, lens covers or lens pieces so, so that's what we got we're gonna wipe these down a little bit see a little booger right there on that one and then we'll go with some epoxy primer. So we got the epoxy primer mixed up over here and uh, we're letting it have its induction time, 30 minutes. Remember, read the footnotes. It's right there in the manual. This is the uh, mix it up, let it sit for 30 minutes with the activator in it. And uh, what I usually do is add a little reducer to it after that because it does tend to thicken up a little bit during that 30 minutes. This is PPG, this is a matrix. So, uh, you know, this uh, I don't have a manual on this. I'm just letting it sit for a little while. Uh, just the same. This is a lot thinner than the uh, Matrix Epoxy Primer. So, uh, no reducer in that stuff. Anyway, that's what's going on. The thing's gone. Got the uh, bus here. Need to get to that. That's probably going to go uh, next after this. And uh, let's see. Chrysler out there. Still no parts for the Chrysler. A couple guys wanted to know what happened to that piston and uh, that thing had the bow seat fall out of it. Two of them actually. The bow seats fell out and got stuck between the cylinder head and the piston. Food barred the piston. Luckily it uh, fell on the pin location and uh, that's the part of the piston that really uh, is actually smaller than the skirt section. The piston isn't actually round, sort of cam shaped. and. Uh, you know, it had a little bit of room in there and didn't break the cylinder. So I was able to hone the cylinder and uh, the guy got really lucky. It didn't cost him a block. So uh, I think Andrea is picking a piston up from the parts warehouse downtown for that. Take that to the machine shop and have it pressed on. And uh, hopefully I'll get those heads back. And uh, I did let the shop know uh, about the chrome hardened seats. Uh, couple guys on the YouTubes there told me that you know you have uh, the powdered metal seats and those from the factory and it's sort of a little design flaw there that uh, the heads drop the seats out of them if the uh, part number on the head ends with seven so uh, I don't have the heads can't look at the part number I did tell the owner to check that out he was going down to the machine shop to uh, speed him up a little bit on that because uh, when I pulled the piston out yesterday, of course, I had to pull the pan out of it and uh, all the steering and suspension and all that, so it's sitting out there and mobile. So I'm going to get that put back together or I can roll it around. Got to get that in here and do a quick all over on that too. And uh, I think that'll be about it. Uh, the guy's got two of them and another truck he wants done, but uh, I think I'm going to take a couple months off and hit the road for a little while. And uh, yeah. So uh, that's what's happening. I got Ken's crank over here in the stand. I need to uh, pull the gears off of that. We'll do that a little later today. And uh, I got the uh, two liter over here, uh, making a parts list for this. Uh, I'm gonna, I've mean, i got a set of heads over here that I poured it and polished for it. They're uh, big valve heads. Mm-hmm. But I'm having trouble getting the uh, 
springs cut down and uh, you know all that stuff so uh, I think I might just go buy a set of heads uh, they got a set of nice heads down there at Triangle in the $800 range and uh, they're ported you know they're not welded but they're ported they got the double springs on them the combustion chambers are all CNC'd and uh, that'll make a nice piece uh, I'll probably just sell this motor. I was going to put this in my bus. I'm going to sell the bus. So uh, this is a two liter, 82 crank, uh, bug pack rods, uh, 315 Burr cam with those heads, a uh, set of 48 IDA Weber's brand new. They're red lines. Uh, the manifolds are ported. No air cleaners uh, with the linkage. I think this thing's going to sell for right around, you know, 4,900, five grand, somewhere in there. So uh, that'll be coming up for sale. It'll also have a sump on it too. So I got a little three and a half quart sump for it. And uh, SEMA piston cylinders, uh, like I said, we'll put those big valve heads on there. The motor will be completely brand new. And the carburetors are brand, too, uh, brand new too. They've never been run. So uh, I guess I'll have to buy a new, uh, new merged exhaust system. So it'll come with a merged exhaust, the 48 IDAs, uh, and it's a 2110. It's uh, thick wall mall cylinders. We got the malls over there, they're coated. And they're also thick wall cylinders. I had originally intended to put it in the bus. So it'll be a really good uh, street motor. You know, it's got extra thick cylinder walls, uh, billet crank, billet rods, uh, aluminum case. Everything's brand new. Uh, it's got a Berg pump, Berg balancer. It's full flowed. Uh, it's pretty much everything you can do, so. That'll be coming up. Got to finish this up, get this in one piece, and uh, put it up on the Samba. And, uh, yeah. So that's about it. Go ahead and uh, throw some sealer down. Do this little morning vlog, I guess. Seven minutes here. Let me go grab the gun and uh, some stuff to wipe these down. And we'll uh, throw some sealer down. Mm-hmm. Turn it around here where you're not uh, in the fluorescent light. These pieces were hand picked by Scooter, so uh, hopefully they're good. If you're gonna need body work, just hang on.
epoxy. We'll let that flash off, give it a light scuff, and uh, get those in paint. And then the only thing we'll have left is the car. Get that in here tomorrow. I gotta try to build some sort of roll around for it. Because uh, I got no help to move this thing. So I have it on this uh, stool. I think that'll work for the front. So I'm gonna have to go build uh, some sort of four x four with some wheels or something that I can put under the uh, heater channels there and uh, get it rolled in. It's not too bad to move around. It takes about three people and uh, it's just setting it up where we can get it painted. So uh, yeah, that's what we'll be working on today. I gotta get all the uh, compound and stuff cleaned up out of it, wipe it down really good. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to get it outside and wet sand it. Uh, I gotta wet sand the roof, the cowl panel in this quarter for the blend. And uh, probably just thousand grit that or hit it with some 800, try not to break through. And uh, I think that's it. I don't see any imperfections anywhere else. Uh, like I said, I think we're pretty good. So, uh, I do have to buff the dash a little bit more, and that's about it. So, all right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. That's where we're at. That's what's going on. So, uh, no sense watching paint dry. We'll uh, see you guys a little later in the day. Still waiting to get a phone to call some of you guys. My wife uh, is never home, and uh, she's got the phone, so. You guys check uh, Kenny out over there, Street Router 100. You can't spell it, there it is. It's abbreviated STRT Router 100 on the YouTubes. Go check him out. Did a little video last night. And uh, it's always good to see Kenny on the, uh, the computer. So uh, I've only talked to him one time, talked to him in the mumble once, and uh, I need to get a hold of him on the phone. I, uh, Get to talk to a few YouTubers every now and then. They call me on a regular basis. You get to hear from uh, Doug, Lakeside Rancher, good buddy of mine, and uh, he's the one that calls me pretty regular. And uh, the other person is Tommy Shoe, believe it or not, calls me and uh, bullshits with me sometimes. So, uh, checked his video out. Glad he's finally got a bigger shop, but he's definitely got his hands full there, boy. So, uh, a little cloudy today, not too bad though, we'll take it. And uh, there's the old Magnum up over there on the jack stands waiting for parts. So we got a Volkswagen show this weekend, might go check that out, take the camera with us and uh, get you a shot of some uh, Beetles. And uh, not quite the caliber of cars you get in California, but uh, we got some nice cars here, so I'll get a couple shots of those. But uh, Alright, let me shut this off, you guys have a great day.